Yo, what's up guys? I'm back again with another video. Guys, today we're going to be trying out the West Coast Customs carpet and upholstery cleaner. Uh, I picked this up at Walmart for $5 and I think it was $5.94. And uh, I just wanted to see is, what will this stuff really do, man. I've been seeing it. I kind of been had my eye on it for a minute here. And I uh, just wanted to try it out, man. Um, as you can see, the carpet is hammered up in there. Really dirty there. So if it's going to pull in the stains out, it definitely should pull, it'll pull that one out right there, guys. All right. So anyway, what I'm going to do, I got a new brush. I'm going to agitate it with. I just picked this up from your Dollar Tree for a dollar. Let's keep a brush in my arsenal. Then I'm going to take an old dirty rag. Well, not that dirty, but, you know, good enough for the mop up behind myself. I put it like that. And um, that's how we're going to do it. All right. So let's jump into some of the direction of this stuff, man. West Coast Custom come out with some pretty good stuff, don't they? Okay, so direction just says back and surface before using cleaner. I did that. Spray cleaner liberally onto one area at a time. Okay, number two, it said gently agitate with an auto care brush or a microfiber towel to lift dirt. Do not let product dry before wiping clean. Number three, it's a wipe clean with a dry microfiber towel. That's what I got there. Okay. Okay, number four, it said for heavy stains may require repeat of steps one, two, and three. All right. All right, guys. So notice of this. Note, for use with suede, leather, or um, natural wood, test capable areas first. Okay, so you can clean leather with this stuff too, guys. Uh, that's another good thing. So, uh, no further ado, man. Let's jump into it. We're going to try it here. As you can see, this big stain area right up in here. I know you got How can you miss it? Like somebody put some soda or something there. And uh, I'm just going to spray it right i'm just gonna do a small area of this not too big all right so uh here we go do half of the area so you can see our progress so i'm gonna set the ball on the stain half okay so i'm gonna give it time to work its magic before I agitate, now I'm just gonna agitate with a brush. Then I'm gonna come in and mop up behind myself. That's how I'm gonna do this one. Now, from looking at it here, guys, it looked like the stain's already leaving. You know, <laughs> and maybe just the color of the product or whatever. You know, like I said, I put the ball where the stain is, so you guys can see my progress. But uh, from so far, it looked like it's already trying to move the stain because you can see some of the browning that's going already but anyway we're gonna take it i'm gonna hit it again i'm gonna simply come in here and i'm gonna agitate it with a brush new brush guys here we go All right, as you can see, that some of the stains coming up. Now you could just reapply the product. And you can always hit it many times you like until you get pull the stain the way you want to pull it. Any kind of way you think you can get it out of there, you know. Do what's necessary and need to be done. Like I said, I put the baller where the stain, the heavy part of the stain is so I can see my progress here. Alright, so I let that sit. I agitate it while I work its magic. 
Okay. It sure don't look like that no more. <laughs> I can tell you guys that already. It sure doesn't look like that no more. This stuff is pretty strong too. I can tell you that right now. I gotta say it one more time, guys. It sure doesn't look like that anymore. Okay, guys, and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna agitate it again. Here we go. Okay, now as you can see, actually put a lot of that thing up. Okay, all right. Now you can simply take a microfiber cloth and just kind of mop up behind yourself here. This will pull up the SS product that's down there. Okay, see that dirt that's coming out of here? See that? This stuff is strong too. Look at there, guys. So I pull that stain up. It's pulling it. See that? Take the microfiber cloth and just mop up full sections. And just mop up behind yourself. Find your clean section. And continue the process. Should I hit it again? But this does help dry, you know. The carpet won't be really wet, wet. Like, should I? And most of the stain is going to get trapped. Hit it again. Doesn't take much. Apply, like I said, the worst part of the stain. It's where the ball is. I sit it there so you guys can see it. Take your brush and you can agitate it again. Now you can take the same product, the exact same way I'm doing this carpet. You can do your seats that way and um, you can pull most of them stains out of there, man. I'm telling you. Get the job done. Okay? Watch this. Hit them just like this. Back and forth. Okay, mm -hmm. It's like that. Take it. Hit it again. Hit it again. Just like that. Take a clean microfiber, come in here, mop it up. And man, you're good, man. You are good. Okay. Find your clean spot on the microfiber cloth. And just mop up. That stubborn stain is gone. For the most part, man. For the most part, that thing is gone. And you can try, like I said, hit it again. It ain't hurt, man. Okay. And repeat the process. And um, put a clean microfiber and mop up behind yourself, man. And uh, the job is done. And there you have it, man. Look at there. It sure doesn't, like I said, guys, it sure doesn't look like that anymore. A long ways from that. Not to mention, guys, this stuff smells good too. It gives a nice, fresh scent to to your truck. And um, uh, you can do the same thing. And the carpet is really not that wet. I guess because I came in here with the microfiber cloth and mopped a lot of that such product up. But um, you can see the close view. It put majority of that stain out of there. Look at here. Smooth the ball in there. 
That's where I looked at at first. Take a look there. Then come back here where I cleaned that. Oh man, that's a hundred percent turnaround. And you see it, man. Does that look better? Or what? See that dirt spot, guys, right here. Compared to this, man, uh, y'all can't tell me there ain't no hundred percent turnaround right there. This stuff did a pretty good job, man. West Coast Customs Carpet and Upholstery Cleaner. Guys, like I said, it's in Walmart right now for $5.94. I think you guys should try it out, man. Find some dirty carpet and get it clean. Also, guys, I can be use this stuff to clean my seats. Look at here. Got some stain in my seats, man. Need to get that out of there. I can use this stuff to clean the whole truck up, man. $5.94. Head to the Dollar Tree, man. Get you one of these good, strong, sturdy bristle brushes that I scrub with. And, man, you got yourself a good combination of cleaning right there, boy. All right? No special tools needed. Just need the product, though. Go to Walmart. Pick this up, man. $5.94. You see how good it did on that stain, don't you? Look at her. Compared to that. Sure doesn't look that bad no more, do it. Come back here. Looking good, man. Can't ask for no better for an older truck. Alright, so guys, if you're new to my channel, man, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Share my videos with your family and friends. And tell them it's your boy, DJ Clue, 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 Clue. Signing off. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace, 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 peace. Clue Minotti, Clue Minotti, Clue Minotti.